Hello, I'm Divya. I'm putting together a video on Adi Shankar Acharya as a small tribute to this great reformer on Shankar Jayanti. Being part of this Martha tradition, we are aligned with Advaita Vedanta philosophy of Adi Shankara and we regard him as the founder of this tradition. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwaraha, Guru Sakshat Parabrahma, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. Guru is the sustainer of knowledge and dispeller of ignorance. He helps his disciples in understanding their inner self and thereby liberating them from this worldly samsara and maya and help them in attaining moksha. It is the Panjami Tithi of the Shukla Paksha in the month of Vaishakha according to the Hindu calendar which is celebrated as Shankar Jayanti, the birth anniversary of Adi Shankaracharya. Shruti Smriti Purana Nam Alayam Karunalayam Namami Bhagavat Padam Shankaram Loka Shankaram Shankaracharya is known to be the abode of Shruti, Smriti and Puranas and an abode of compassion who taught all his disciples all of the above. We bow to this great Sri Shankaracharya who is the form of Shiva. As per records, Adi Shankara was born in Kaladi in Kerala and lived for a very short period of 32 years during which he consolidated the doctrine of Advaita Vedanta and revived it at a time when Hindu culture was on a decline. Adi Shankara is believed to have been born to Shivaguru and Aryamba of Kaladi. The couple devoutly prayed for 41 days at a Shiva temple. Legend has it that Shiva appeared to the couple in their dreams and offered them a choice. They could either have a mediocre son who would live a long life or an extraordinary son who would die early. Both Shivaguru and Aryamba chose the latter. In honor of Shiva, they named their son Shankara. Shankara was sent to the Gurukulam at a very early age of 5 years, post his Upanayanam, and he learned all the Vedas in a very short time in the Gurukulam. As a part of his Brahmacharya and being a student in a Gurukulam, he would go out to seek food and arms. During one such visit, he is deeply moved by the state of a housemaker and prays to the Parvati Devi by singing the Kanakadhara Stotra in her praise to bestow wealth on the lady in distress. Adi Shankara, wishing to take up sannyasa, prays to his mother to allow him to become a sannyasi. After initial reluctance, she relents due to a series of events and allows him to become a sannyasi and leave the house. Adi Shankara then travels north as a young boy of eight and wandering near river Narmada seeking to find his guru. He encounters Govinda Bhagavad Pada who asks him, Who are you? The boy answers with the stanzas of Nirvana Shataka. And Govinda Bhagavad Pada, impressed by him, accepts Adi Shankara as his disciple. His guru also directs him to spread the philosophy of scriptures. During his travels across India, he initiates several eminent people as his students. Notably, Adi Shankara along with Madhavacharya and Ramanujacharya were instrumental in the revival of Hinduism. Adi Shankara is seen as one who restored the Hindu dharma during the rise and rule of Buddhism and Jainism. He is also known to have reconciled the various sects, Vaishnavism, Shaivism and Shaktiism with the introduction of Panchayatana form of worship. The simultaneous worship of five deities, Ganesha, Surya, Vishnu, Shiva and Devi, arguing that all deities were but different forms of the one Brahman, the invisible supreme being. During his travels in Varanasi, Adi Shankara saw a class of students learning grammar by repetition, where he goes to the teacher and tells him that by mere perfection of grammar, there is nothing which is done to the soul when we are at the hour of death and have not realized God or Brahman and one should surrender themselves to Govinda. It is said that Adi Shankara recites Bhajagovindam at the same spot. It is a Prakarana Grantha composed by Adi Shankara and his disciples where he mainly speaks to people to seek answers to why I am here, what is the purpose of life and take the inner road towards God realization. Adi Shankara during his travels across India, was known to have travelled to Kashi, Rishikesh, Badrinath and all the way up to Kedarnath and Amarnath and finally to Sringeri for spreading his teaching on Advaita philosophy of Tattvamasi, Thou art that. This is stated by Shankara in his Upadesha Sahasradi as follows. I am other than name, form and action. My nature is ever free. 
I am self, the supreme unconditioned Brahman. I am pure awareness, always non-dual. Adi Shankaracharya went on to establish four months in Kashi, Badrinath, Puri and Shringeri during his travels across India, along with having discussions on Advaita philosophy with several people across India. This is a small tribute to Adi Shankaracharya, who was an intellectual philosopher of Advaita Vedanta, who looked at the Gnana Marga as his only way to reach the Supreme Brahman, but never stopped anyone else from exploring other Margas to reach the same end. We see this by his works on Bhajagovindam, Kanakadhara Stotram, Nirvana Shatakam, Annapurna Stotram and several others which are examples of approaching God by way of Bhakti which has an equal impact towards self-realization. Thank you for your interest in understanding Hinduism as a way of life and for taking one step towards understanding oneself. Thank you.